I knew that I would. Now, hey, the mommy hurricanes, yes. We had, listen, listen, guys. My back hurts. My back hurts. We put the whole state of Florida on our back today. Them sorry baby lizards got whooped. Got whooped. 45 to 35. Got whooped by 10 points in the swamp at home by them garbage ass LSU Tigers. Garbage ass baby lizards got whooped. Then you got that other team up there in Tallahassee. Scrape trash. Basuda. Awful. Garbage. They got whooped too. They got whooped. Clemson came to town and literally wiped their butts with them. You ever seen one of them cowboy movies when they get the towel and they wipe it back and forth? Clemson came to Florida State and wiped their butt with a towel. Sounds crazy, but that's what they did. I don't know why they did it, but they did it. Anyways, so Miami went to Virginia Tech, Death Valley, away game in a hostile environment, sold out stadium, the crowd going crazy. We won. Now it was a struggle win, but we won. We won. We got the W. See, 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 Florida State fans, Florida Gator fans. It's a difference. It's a difference. There's L's and then there's W's. Now see, Florida State fans, I'm gonna start with y'all. See, you started off 4-0. You crowned the Mike Norvell the next president of these here United States of America. Not just the state of Florida. You didn't, you didn't even go after Governor the, the Santo or whatever his name is. Y'all didn't even go after his spot. Y'all went straight for Joe Biden. Y'all went for the presidency. Y'all thought winning four games meant that Florida State was back. Back. And then I told you. The great t 2 told you. I told you. The next three games in a row, you was going to lose. Everybody, ha, 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 ha. T2, why you a troll? Florida State ain't going to lose no three games. They look good. They playing good. Your Hurricanes looking bad, so you just a hater. Then I watched you come in week in and week out, and you lost to all three ranked opponents. Now your next matchup is against Georgia Tech. You're probably going to lose that one too. I wouldn't doubt you losing that one too. Mike Norville is a terrible play caller. He can't put up points. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. You got a running back at quarterback, and I'm going to keep telling y'all that, but you don't listen. You don't listen. All offseason, you was telling me how better than Tyler Van Dyke, this Jordan Travis running back kid is. Where? Where? Now, Gator fans, Florida Gator fans, AR-15 is not a quarterback. He's also a running back. And if you're smart, if you want some nice pressure and production on defense, put him at defensive end. You know what? You can even try him out at tight end. It ain't like none of y'all tight ends doing anything anyway. And shout out to the Florida Gators anyway for starting to play Lingard, the 30-year senior. Or is he a junior? I don't know. He's been at Florida about 300 years. He's finally getting some snaps. Ain't making a difference. <laughs> Today, I watched my Miami Hurricane win and be glorious. Be spectacular. Ooh, I know it felt like a miracle. Miraculously, we won. We held it together all the way through the end. But to sit here tonight, after watching the glorious Alabama get monkey stumped, put up by, let, let, let Tennessee put up 52 on them, because Tennessee ain't got no defense, let's be real. But to see them put up 52 on Alabama and whoop Nick Saban and watch him cry on the sideline was nice. But you know what? My day wasn't done. My day wasn't done. God told me. <laughs> He told me that the Gators was going to lose tonight. He told me that Florida State was going to lose tonight. He told me tonight was going to be a blessing for me. <laughs> for me. I loved it. You know what this feel like? I feel like just going, going in the car and just 
hook my phone up to the to the speakers and just tell Siri to tell her to play Today was a good day by Ice Cube. Cause today was a good day. Now, Florida Gator fans, how do you let the LSU Tiger and Brian Kelly into the swamp, y'all so-called loud stadium, y'all so-called best environment in college football in front of all the recruits, these five stars, these eight, nine, ten stars that y'all got coming in, y'all let them come in there and whoop y'all in front of them. <laughs> oh, it was, it, was, it was pretty to watch. It was pretty to watch. It was like watching a Miss USA pageant tonight, watching y'all get whooped. Now, Florida State, on the other hand, I know y'all ain't had a dirt chance in hell, but I know your fans. I know y'all. Y'all all hang, hang around the channel when y'all winning. When y'all winning, y'all got a lot to say. Y'all got a lot to talk about. Oh, Miami can't talk. They lost to Middle Tennessee. Middle Tennessee. Y'all forgot about JSU. Y'all forgot about all the L's y'all done been taking, all the blowouts y'all done been through. Mike Norvell is everything one week, and he's nothing the other. Y'all want to give Atkins an award one week. Y'all want to fire him the next week. Don't even get me started on Dugans. But, Florida State fans, it's my pleasure and it's my honor to sit back in my chair and just watch y'all cry. Watching y'all cry bring me so much joy. Bring me so much joy. See, Miami is right now, we're three and three. You guys have played one more game than us. So next week when we win, we'll be four and three, just like you guys. Well, not really, because next week when you lose to Georgia Tech, you're going to be four and four. You know, until your bye week happens, we're going to be a game behind y'all. But we're going to finish better than y'all. And we're going to beat the brakes off y'all. See, now Florida Gators, I, I'm going to tell you what's the scenario going to happen. Y'all in Florida State are going to go into the last game of the season, both maybe five and six. Both teams will be maybe five and six. And whoever win the last game will be bowl eligible. Don't tell me it can't happen, because we watched it happen last season. And I think last season and this season for y'all, it's going to be deja vu. Now, hopefully this time around, y'all get there. Florida State wins this game this time. They're bowl eligible. And guess who they play? USC or USF or UCF in a bowl game. And then they lose. Won't that be? Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Won't it? Do it, God. <laughs> Both of y'all teams is ass. My, like I said, my back hurt. Both of y'all teams is ass. Now do me a favor, Florida State and Florida Gator fans. Get in the comment section. Tell me something. Tell me something. Anything. Any excuse that you got for your team today, just tell me. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. T2I, I'm out. <laughs> I'm about to go have good dreams tonight. <laughs>